All guitar tablature is simply a visual representation of the six strings plus the fretboard on the guitar, and we're gonna be using numbers to tell us which frets to play with our fingers. We're essentially taking a snapshot of the guitar neck and laying it flat down on paper. So you'll notice that we have six lines in our tabs. Those six lines refer to the six strings of the guitar. The bottommost line is starting with the lowest E string here, and moving up the A, D, G, B, and E strings. So now that we have an understanding of what we're looking at on the guitar tabs, let's try actually reading some tabs. So we know that all the six lines refer to the six strings on the guitar, but what if I wanna play actual fretted notes? How do I represent that? Well, if we look at the tab, we'll see that we're starting on the fifth string or the B string, and the first number on that string is the number one. The numbers on the tabs are gonna to correlate to which fret I should be fingering. So I see the number one on the fifth string or the B string, so I know that I'm gonna put my first finger down on that first fret there. Now, the next number is three. So you guessed right, we're gonna now move to the third fret on the same string. Now, the next number is zero. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, we're just gonna think of zero as open. We're gonna play that string open. So since the zero is on the sixth string or the highest line, we're gonna play the high E string open. So to review, so far we have done first fret, third fret, open E string. Now let's keep reading this down. First fret, okay, number three, it means third fret. Right now we're going right back down to one. Now we're going to open again. Third fret of the B string, first fret of the B string. Now we're moving down to the G string second fret. Open G string. Right? Third fret of the D string. Now it says two, we're gonna move down to the second fret there. Open. One more string down, second to last line, the A string, third fret. And then we see it ends by going two to three. So I'm gonna to go to the second fret, to the third fret. So if I put all that together, we're gonna to get this. Tabs are a great way to get started learning any new songs. You can pretty much find the tab for any song just searching it on the internet. If you ever come up with your own songs and you don't wanna forget them, you can quickly just write them down using tar tabs. So if you come back a week later and you, oh, I don't really remember this riff, well, you just wrote it down so you can read your own tabs now and remember your own songs. Mm -hmm.